Hello fellow travelers, Rarotonga is a paradise for seafood lovers offering a wide range of delectable ocean-inspired experiences. Whether you're craving the freshest catch of the day or longing for the rich flavors of the Pacific, this video is your seafood guide. Join me as I highlight my top 5 seafood destinations on the island. These options are budget-friendly except for one, but rest assured, all of them serve up deliciously prepared seafood dishes. Without further ado, let's dive right in. My number 5 recommendation is Tem Store and Takeaways. Undoubtedly, one of the most underappreciated gems on the island is Tem Store and Takeaways. Situated conveniently next to Muri Night Market, this unassuming shop is primarily a convenience store but also offers a selection of takeaway delights, including fried chicken, burgers, and the beloved fish and chips. On top of that, the prices are refreshingly affordable. My initial expectations were modest, but I decided to try their fish plate for 18 New Zealand dollars. To my astonishment, it was a generous portion of delectable delights. The dish featured 8 substantial strips of tuna fish alongside a serving of french fries, affectionately referred to as chips, and a side of salad. For the price, it was a real steal. Although the fried fish didn't have a crispiness to it, the flavor was delightfully sweet and savory, a telltale sign of freshness. This dish is a true winner on all fronts. It's budget-friendly, uses fresh ingredients, and tantalizes the taste buds. We also sampled another fish and chips meal at Mori Cafe located beside Cavera Convenience Store. While it was indeed economical, the one at Tem store outshone it in flavor and in quality. Now let's explore my fourth recommendation, Sandals Restaurant. Nestled on the beautiful shores of Muri Beach, Sandals Restaurant is located inside the Pacific Resort Rarotonga. This beachfront dining establishment boasts a delightful blend of casual charm and romantic ambience. TripAdvisor has honored Sandals by ranking it among the top 5 seafood restaurants in Rarotonga. However, it holds the fourth spot in my list due to its relatively higher prices as you can discover equally fantastic dining options on the island that won't break the bank. The standout option in their modest menu is the chef's signature creation, known as the Pacific Sizzler. This delectable seafood dish features a locally sourced cooked island fish, the variety of which depends on the day's catch. It's expertly sautéed with an assortment of fresh vegetables and drizzled with a luscious coconut lime sauce. I'd recommend crossing your fingers for a parrot fish during your visit. It's a truly delightful island delicacy I had the pleasure of trying for the first time in the Cook Islands. It is served piping hot and teeming with an enticing flavors and aromas. This dish never fails to make my mouth water when I revisit the footage. <laughs> the fish itself is tender and sweet, while the coconut lime sauce imparts an authentic island vibe. However, it's worth noting that this divine dish comes at a price, ringing in at 45 New Zealand dollars. I also ventured to sample their rendition of Ikamata, a signature island delicacy, and it stood out as one of the finest on the island. Bursting with flavors and featuring incredibly fresh fish, it's indeed a culinary gem. Yet it's important to mention that such quality does come at a premium. If you're looking for a more budget-friendly option, you might want to explore Mori Night Market or other local restaurants. However, it's worth noting that during our meal, the cheesecake with mango sauce didn't quite meet our expectations. Before I mention my third recommendation, I'd like to make a humble request. Please take a moment to click the like button for this video. Your like help the algorithm share this video with other travelers who are keen on discovering outstanding seafood restaurants in the Cook Islands. And if you haven't already, why not consider subscribing to this channel? I'm striving to reach a goal of 10,000 subscribers by the year's end, and your support would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for your assistance. Now let's get back to the main topic. Let's now dive into my third recommendation, Muri Night Market. Leaving Rarotonga without dining at this vibrant night market would be a missed opportunity. But be sure to plan your visit accordingly, as the night market is open from 5pm to 9pm on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. 
This bustling market features a diverse array of food vendors offering everything from local barbecue meals, vegan options, pizza, seafood, and even Thai food. However, I must admit that Thai dishes here did not live up to my expectations. But fear not, my favorite stall at the market is the seafood man Raratonga. Their seafood offerings not only tantalize the taste buds but are also quite affordable, with their priciest dish being a mere 20 New Zealand dollars. Now the dish that you absolutely must try at the Seafood Man is their rendition of Ikamata. When you first lay eyes on this dish in its humble plastic container, it might not immediately impress you. However, one bite changes everything. The ikamata is a symphony of flavors, striking a harmonious balance between creaminess, sweetness, and saltiness that's nothing short of delightful. Another delectable option on their menu is a pan-fried tuna with mango salsa. This tantalizing dish is served alongside a fresh salad and a portion of french fries. The tuna is expertly seared to perfection, rendering it incredibly tender. The mango salsa offers just the right mix of sweetness and a subtle hint of spiciness that complements the tuna beautifully. However, I must admit the french fries accompanying this dish doesn't quite hit the mark. They were a bit bland. Allow me to present my second recommendation, Mooring Fish. Situated just across from Muri Night Market, Mooring fish may appear modest with its small wooden structure, but it offers a fantastic culinary experience. The restaurant features a spacious outdoor deck with tables and shaded umbrellas, providing a pleasant setting to enjoy the island breeze. Don't let the unassuming exterior fool you. This place is a seafood gem. Mooring fish is a popular seafood destination celebrated by its fresh fish sandwiches, flavorful salads, and fish and chips crafted from locally sourced ingredients complete with homemade sauces. One of their standout dishes is the FOB sandwich, fresh off the boat, which features your choice of grilled or crammed fish. However, I'm going to tempt your taste buds with a challenge. Try the fish burger, boasting battered parrotfish, fried eggs, and a medley of veggies. Nestled between a soft, slightly sweet white bun are three generous slices of parrotfish topped with a fried egg and accompanied by fresh veggies. And of course, there's a side of delectable french fries or chips. Now, here's the tip. This burger is so loaded with goodness that biting into it might be a delightful challenge. I found it easier to remove one slice of fish to make the first bite into burger heaven more manageable. The sunny side up fried eggs infuse a creamy richness that harmonizes beautifully with a tender, sweet parrotfish. My first bite transported me to burger nirvana. It was that delicious. Now, let me introduce you to my top seafood restaurant in Rarotonga, the Shipwreck Hut. Situated on the western side of the island, the Shipwreck Hut is a beach bar and restaurant that forms part of the Aroa Beachside Inn. You'll find this delightful restaurant right on the sandy shores, offering a picturesque view of the beautiful lagoon. It's an ideal place to dine while savoring the breathtaking sunset. The restaurant boasts a playful pirate theme, complete with whimsical signs and decorations. Even the menu items embrace the pirate spirit. Bearing names like Arg, Seafood, Chowder, Brukaneers, Surf and Turf, and Kraken, Garlic Bread. Furthermore, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, from 6 p.m. until 9 p.m., the restaurant hosts live music. While some locals swear by the fish of the day, I couldn't resist trying the pirate sashimi platter featuring parrotfish. I've previously enjoyed the cooked parrotfish, so the idea of tasting it uncooked intrigued me. The sashimi platter includes a delightful assortment of items, salad, lime, ginger, wasabi, soy sauce, and of course, the parrotfish meat. What piqued my interest was the drizzle of sesame seeds atop the fish. As I took my first bite of the parrotfish sashimi, I was met with a delicate, subtly sweet flavor. It was an instant hit for me.
Next, I sample their rendition of Ikamata. Just one look at it reveals a rich creaminess. I couldn't help but notice that the coconut cream was thicker than what I've had in other Ikamata dishes on the island. The fish chunks were generously sized compared to the others I'd tried. With the first bite, it became evident that this was the finest tasting Ikamata on the island. The lush coconut cream paired with the zesty lime juice complemented the sweetness of the tuna meat. Additionally, the red bell peppers provided a gentle kick to the dish. So why is the shipwreck cut my top choice? It's a winning combination of delectable local seafood delicacies and an inviting atmosphere. Thus, I've shared my top 5 seafood establishments on the island of Rarotonga with you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you'd like to explore my top 5 recommended activities on the island, click on the thumbnail. Until next time, fellow travelers, bye for now.